Why do people lie? One thing that we all must admit is that we are not angels. This may surprise some people, but this has been the case since the beginning of humanity. No matter where you are from, what you do, or how old you are, you have told at least one lie. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, student, politician, police officer, or priest. You surely have told more than one lie. Let's take a peek into why we have at least lied once and how we may be able to prevent being lied to. And most importantly, welcome to Four C's One Family. Is it possible to live our lives without telling a single lie? Do people need to lie to survive? Is selective lying a way of getting ahead in life? Are there events that make us lie? And are there situations we can't avoid lying about? Is a little white lie a real lie? Most importantly, how should we describe what a lie is? Can we at least agree that someone lies when they know they are saying things that are not true or just plainly false? Are parents lying to their children when they say that a boogeyman will come and get them at night if they are naughty? In addition, are parents lying to their children when they say Santa Claus will give them gifts on Christmas if they behave well or do their homework and eat all their vegetables? When children learn how to speak around the age of four, they start learning how beneficial lying can be. Most children start using lies to test if doing so can help them obtain what they want or to avoid punishments. Now, they are not trying to be malicious at this point of time in their early lives. However, later on, their self-destructive behavior of deceiving people may cause them to regret doing so. You see, sometimes liars get away with dishonesty and sometimes they do get caught. This is what some people would call a cat and mouse game. However, we shouldn't look at lying as a harmless game. As liars age, they use lying to manipulate others or deliberately evade penalties. And as time goes by, they become better liars and may one day use their well-developed skills to look straight into the eyes of someone they are trying to lie to for personal or financial gain. Unfortunately, some people are compelled to lie. It's hard for these people not to lie. The sad thing is that persistent lying causes deep and irreversible distrust. The reality is that severe consequences and a personality disorder usually result from this behavior. People who constantly lie and deceive others are pathological liars. Now, how can we detect whether we have been lied to or misled? What should we do or look for when we suspect that someone is lying? Are there any traits a liar displays when lying? Most liars try to avoid eye contact with the person they are lying to. Liars usually make eye tag half of the time with the person they are lying to. The liar may look around or look to the ground when they deliver their lies. Sometimes you can detect a liar by a change in their voice or rate of speech. Some liars may ponder and say and repeat things like, uh, and, mm. Another way someone can detect if they are being lied to is by observing the body language of the person speaking. Inexperienced liars may start playing with their fingers, pulling their clothing, or walking back and forth while speaking. One obvious indication that someone is lying is that they keep contradicting themselves. They may start saying things that don't sound logical or just simply impossible. Before we continue, I want to ask you a few simple questions. What are some things that people often lie about and why? Can lying be a way of getting ahead in life? Are there things that we can't avoid lying about? What types of people do you think often tell lies and why? Tell us about a time you lied and why you lied. 
Why do you think it is or isn't possible to live our lives without telling one single lie? Ultimately, no matter how hard we try not to be deceived, we all will be lied to by someone. There is no 100% foolproof method to detect if someone is lying or has been lying to us. A professional liar can be calm and act normal without displaying one single side of lying. All we can do is not lie to others and minimize our chances of being lied to. If you have found what we have to offer of any value, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons below to keep up to date with our current episodes. And if you're listening to our podcast, please subscribe and help us spread the word that we have much more in common than we think. We're very interested to hear what you have to say. Before Season 1 family, I'm James Thomas in Taipei, Taiwan. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world.